Hey guys, Smith City here for Smith City Product Reviews. This is going to be a different review and it's just going to be a little snippets through the next couple of weeks. And I'm going to just join them together and create a video for you. So I'm reviewing uh, Diazepam. I've been put on it. Um, it was a last result, result, uh, last resort for this jaw issue I've got. I've got uh, um, uh, TMJ, which is a uh, jaw disorder and so over a period of time of helping people uh, not managing my own stress uh, biting my tongue in lots of situations um, always being almost like a counselor in everyone's pocket um, and not really putting myself first and having my cup overflowing and everyone else pouring their stuff on top of my cup um, naturally an internal body dysfunction started to happen where I would clench my teeth without even realizing it to the point where like I wake up in the morning and my jaw is really really sore and tender um, and so I'm getting sleep and I am closing my eyes and falling asleep but within that I'm not getting good quality sleep and then I wake up exhausted the next day and then that rolls into progressive fatigue which is obviously probably why a couple of years ago, I got glandular fever. So that's a long intro to why I'm doing it. And um, why I'm doing this review is also to talk about that mental health stuff is important to talk about. It's not taboo. People might think it is. And I know I might get some flack in the comment sections from people I don't know. And I just don't care anymore. I just do not care anymore. I'm doing this to, to show you guys uh, what this does to me. Um, and, and how it helps, and it may not help, it may help. Um, be interesting to see what the side effects are, if there is any. Um, it does say avoid alcohol and it increases the effects of alcohol, so I won't be taking this on days I do beer reviews. Um, just, it's, it's, yeah, I'm not going to mismanage taking the, this. I'm just not going to mismanage it. So basically I've been given uh, Five, uh, five milligram tablets, and there's 10 of them. Um, I'll, I'll bring one out for you guys so you can see it. Can't really, there you go. Yep. So I'm supposed to have half of that, so I'm gonna try my best to snap it in half. Yeah, I actually snapped it in half pretty good. Quite happy with that. And so it's about 9.30, I'm winding down for dinner. Ah, uh, winding down for dinner. Winding down for bed. I've uh, got to get up early in the morning and I'll be interested to see how my first sleep goes. So this is half a tablet of diazepam going in. And we'll see how that goes. Catch you on the next part of this. We're back after night one on diazepam. Obviously I took half a tablet around quarter past nine, 9.20. And um, probably within half an hour, my jaw completely relaxed. Um, and like I could move it around freely without too much discomfort or too much pain. Um, I had a fairly good night's sleep, uh, which was good. And like I've still woken up a little bit sore, so I reckon there's still an element. I, I normally wear a mouth guard at night, and so I decided to pull that away because I wanted to see actually how it would affect it without take without wearing a mouth guard. So um, I'll keep doing that for a period of time. Uh, if if it doesn't get any better or it sort of stays the same, I probably will maybe start using my mouth guard again. Um, but all in all, uh, I wouldn't say it really improved my sleep in terms of like dreams and, and that sort of stuff, but raisin toast, gotta eat before I go to work. Cause all this time really, I feel like my dreams and my sleeping patterns are are probably better than what they were a couple of years ago, but 
it's obviously just waking up in extreme pain, discomfort, like my face being like swollen and really sore and the stress and tension that the body would go through doing that, then wake up the next day and just feeling like absolute, like a train wreck. So night one done, I'll come back and I'll record another video um, taking the tablet tonight and then um, doing another video in the, in tomorrow morning. So catch you guys. Hey guys, night two on Dazepam. There's half the tablet. So just, I wanted to share my experiences of uh, last night. So um, I think I think I've already said what I did. I think I did a video this morning. Um, scrap that. And I can't restart because I've taken the tablet, so we'll just roll with this. Um, so I went to work this morning. Um, I was a little bit drowsy. I wouldn't necessarily say it was the tablet's fault. I think it was more so the fact that um, I went to bed at 10.30 and I then got up at 5. So I think that was the element as to why I was uh, a bit drowsy. Had a coffee, everything's all, all sweet. Um, in terms of some of the side effects that it's, it can have, um, uh, confusion, um, like forgetting stuff, and all, all those sorts of things, is that didn't really happen today. So that was really, really good, really, really positive. Um, I got home from work, had a nap for two hours. Uh, the teeth grinding last night was was manageable. I woke up and my jaw wasn't sore, so that, that was a very good positive. Then I had a sleep on the couch when I got home for the obviously for two hours and I woke up and I wasn't teeth grinding then. Um, and I feel like it's just lifted some of the like being able to just have a nap. I'm 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 not someone that has naps generally. Um, and to just sit down and know that I needed to rest was really good. So I did that, woke up at 6.30, fell asleep at 4.30. I've had dinner, I've created some stuff for my uh, personal training uh, Instagram and I've taken half the tablet. I've taken it earlier. Last night I took it at 9.30. Uh, today is I think eight. We'll just double check the time. It's five past eight. Um, I took it earlier because I also want to go to bed earlier. So I want to probably get to bed at like 9.30, 9.45 um, and just see how that plays with the morning drowsiness. Um, I really do think that the morning drowsiness was more from the amount of sleep I got, not necessarily from the drug. So we'll just, we'll just see how it goes. Um, to be honest, I was a little bit worried and scared to start off with uh, about some of the side effects and like unpacking how everything's gone and sort of analyzing how everything's gone and collecting data with, with how this is all going. Um, I'm comfortable to say that like any of the side effects that it does have um, aren't there. And what is interesting is um, obviously I review beers on this channel and so I'm not going to drink whilst on it, um, but I'm just going to manage it. So like if, in the coming couple of days time, I decide that I want to have a drink. I'm not going to take it. Interesting fact, which I read up on two milligrams. So this is five milligrams, five milligrams. So half a tablet, 2.5, but two milligrams, apparently, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, if anyone else is on it, uh, but I did some research last night. Apparently it takes 48 hours for half a dose to actually get out of your system, which I found very fascinating. So um, 24 hours and I've taken another tablet. It'd be interesting to see how um, having some of it in my system plus another half a tablet, what that does. Um, 
whether it creates some drowsiness going to bed soon, um, if it creates any confusion, if it creates any scattered thoughts or, or whatever. Um, mentally, I feel pretty refreshed, uh, which is fantastic because um, I think one of the side effects is um, suicidal thoughts. So the fact that I don't have any of that at the moment is fantastic, especially when I've come from that um, and been in quite some stressful situations of late uh, to be able to, to take this medication and for it not to exacerbate some of my stresses that I'm currently going through is also fantastic. So this one's a bit of a longer video, but that's okay. Uh, this is probably going to be, collectively, it's going to probably be a long video because um, obviously I'm going to do it over how many tablets I've got, 10, so probably going to be 20 videos. So potentially it could go for like a 30, 40 minute, minute video and that's just how it has to be. So uh, I'll let you go, guys. See ya. Hey, guys, this is night three. Uh, I've just got home from work. I've decided I'm not going to take the tablet tonight. Um, I'm going to do a beer review instead. That's not why I am doing it, but um, I had a really good experience with it last night. Um, so I took it a bit earlier, um, as you obviously saw in the last little slide. And um, I had a pretty good night's sleep. Had Spotify playing with some meditation sleep music going, which was really good, which, which, uh, which was really great. Um, but what was cool is I had a really deep sleep and uh, I started dreaming of some things that like are things that I really enjoy doing but I don't get to do a lot of and I haven't done a lot of for a very extended period of time and so one of the dreams was uh, camping because I absolutely love camping with uh, friends and family, extended friends and family and um, then I must have stirred or whatever, went back to sleep and uh, just remember playing guitar and, and, and singing and writing music and, and that sort of stuff and it's just interesting um, what, I, what I take from that is I don't often do a lot of things for myself and I do a lot for other people so um, you know over a over the coming months, I'll, I wouldn't mind getting back into playing some guitar here and there. Um, obviously, we've just gone back into lockdown tonight for seven days. Uh, hopefully, when that uh, finishes and I can get my online course off, off the ground, which I'm launching this coming Monday, which by the time this is up, the launch will probably be um, done and dusted or in the process of happening over those periods of days, uh, to be able to um utilize some extra time at my disposal getting more income from that to be able to do some things that i really love and enjoy doing for myself uh with no attachments no one throwing crap onto me as i'm doing things and just taking the time out for me because i think that's important so you know i'm obviously not going to take tablet tonight and doctor said just take them when you feel like you need them and he said they also are addictive. I, I don't feel like they are addictive. Like I can easily tonight not take one. That's fine. Um, my jaw is so good. Like if I did that maybe a week ago, I'd have this massive click that would happen that would send pain all the way through here. And now I can move it freely. Uh, it is still a little bit tight, but I think over the coming uh, weeks of taking this I feel like that's going to ease off and I think internally uh, my body will have build habit around that that so it'll build a habit around not utilizing just initial snippet of stress to create that and then that compounds it even further and then going to sleep and then happening in the sleep which I can't control then waking up and being fatigued and tired then rolls into the next day you can see how then all of a sudden that builds a really bad internal body function habit that you just can't get out of no matter what you try and do and how much professional help you seek and how much you work on yourself and how much awareness you have with all, all your stuff that goes on in your life uh, sometimes things are out of your control because that's just how you've wired through your neurological pathways that are just 
almost like set like a big sturdy bridge and they take a while for them to come down again to be able to then build a new road so um i'll leave it there guys and uh yeah i'll see you when i when i take the next tablet i will not as you can see nine, nine tablets i will not abuse this and i will not take it while drinking i, d I just won't like if if this is something that actually is something that manages this for a period of time and the doctor actually feels like giving me like a second uh, lot, like a second course of this over a period of time and I can show him that I'm only taking this when I need to or where I feel it's applicable and I'm not taking it when I shouldn't be based on other things I'm doing, then that creates a good doctor-client relationship um, and then he's more likely to go, okay, this is actually something that's benefiting him and he's not doing anything that he shouldn't be doing with it. Um, but yeah, ultimately, like, I'm not going to, like, I enjoy my beer reviews, so I'm not going to um, hijack them by, um, like, I, I don't really ever drink just to, just to have a couple of beers. I do occasionally, but it's not very often. And so, like, yeah, I'm not going to take a tablet and then do a review and be absolutely off my chops on here. Like you may have saw that with the wild boar challenge where I was, where the following following day came out that I was a bit of a mess um, the night before after the video finished. But um, that was that was just for you know the the followers and it's stuff that I don't actually like doing. So um, yeah, all in all. Um, it's been a sort of a really good uh, learning experience of taking this tablet. Um, the confusion, um, that sort of stuff to do with the side effects just hasn't been a thing. Like um, I'm in a new role at work and there's different stages within that role. Plus there's like admin, there's emails as well as doing the actual stuff that we do on a day-to-day -day basis. And sometimes like you're doing stuff before I was on these tablets and, um, you know, you might have a, a lapse of concentration or you might have, like, you might go to the work ute and forget why you're actually there. And then you're like, oh crap, I've got to get the grinder. Okay. That's what I've got to do. And so that has happened whilst being on the medication, but it's not the medication it's stuff that just randomly happens every so often because you've got so much uh, stuff that you're having to retain and having to do and you might be going to the ute to get five things and you might only remember three things and so it, it happens um, but that's that's not the the medications uh, fault which is great and um, there's there's been real no negatives so far so next time I take a tablet I'll check in with you guys um, it might just be with that one it might be just take the tablet short sure, like maybe 10 second 20 second video and then I'll tell you my experiences on day th day three of taking a tablet. Cheerio, guys. Welcome back. Um, this is the third half a tablet. See if I can snap it properly. One half's a little bit bigger than the other, but it's all right. I'm taking this at quarter past four on a Sunday. This is my third time taking half a tablet. So since I got it last Tuesday, I've only had one and a half tablets in the space of, what's that, five, six days. Oh, did, that didn't go down. We'll just say, we'll just see what the, the difference with time taking. The other two times I've taken it is just before bed, so or around bedtime. So it'll be interesting to see how that plays a part. Uh, I've enjoyed a couple of uh, drinking evenings without it the last couple of days, doing some reviews and enjoying a whiskey last night uh, to sort of say thank you to myself for all the hard work I've been putting in with my my online course. So. I'll leave you leave it there, guys, and um, I'll catch you on the next. Let you know how this one, how this uh, half tablet goes, and I'll keep this continuing. So, cheers.
Hey guys, next day is a Pam uh, review. Just taking half a tablet again, as per what I'm doing. And I just wanted to say that this is probably going to be my last video for a little bit on this, not because I don't want to keep taking them when I need to um, and sending a message each time I do it but I feel like it's going to be much of the same. Um, there hasn't been any really crazy side effects, if any, to be honest. And I feel like a lot of it's going to be the same. Therefore, it's going to be, probably be, as we go on, a more of a boring video. And so I feel like with any sort of big impactful moment that I have on it, whether it be positive or negative, I'll then come back and do it. Um, or if none of that happens, I'll see you at the end of this course and I'll let you know my thoughts as a whole. But I just wanted to share I just wanted to share something quickly. So last night I took it around 8:30 and what's the time now? Like 7:35. Um, so I have been taking a little bit earlier than um, directly before bed. Uh, I feel like that's actually given me really good sleep when I've done that. But I also have launched my course. I don't need to actually create any more content to do with the course launch. It's done. And so two things that I've been working towards directly for six months, but indirectly for all the hard work I put in for the last three years has all just, all of that weight has just been lifted off my shoulders. So I think last night taking the tablet on top of that gave me the best sleep I've had in like years, um, absolute years, which then trickled into when I woke up even though I was enjoying the sleep and I was like, didn't want to get up. There wasn't, I didn't want to get up because of anything. It was just, I was enjoying being in bed. Whereas a lot of the time, sometimes I stay in bed because I, I, I don't want to get up and look at my phone and do the next thing that I need to do and, and the rest of it. And so I sat there for like 10 minutes or 15 minutes. And then I got up, had some breakfast and I just had this energy shift where I think just not being so exhausted, my jaw not feeling as like I want to swear, but I won't like absolute shot. Um, it, it hasn't been like that since I've started doing this. And I feel like the good sleep last night, some stress being removed from me as well as the tablet itself relaxing the muscles within my face is going to create a pattern that I can build some new subconscious patterns around. And I think that will ultimately get me out of this. And I want to say, get me out of this. There might be times where an isolated scenario happens and I will have a night where I clench my teeth when I'm not on this or when I'm on this and I can't do that. But instead of it being here and going to here and then going to here again, it might go from here to here to here to here. And then I might have a situation where it does that and then it does this. And then like, I don't have to, I don't have to have prolonged nights of where my body is just going to autopilot, grinding teeth, grinding teeth, grinding teeth. This whole time I have not had my mouth guard. I've not worn it. I don't feel like I've needed it. I've woken up most uh, days where I'm not grinding um, and my jaw's not sore. And um, it's that's just been an absolute amazing thing. So, um, yeah, it's just, it's, it's something that was really good for me to actually start putting myself first and, and, and seek professional help. Cause I could have just, I could just waited for ages and this getting worse and worse and worse. And then that may have impacted me actually doing my course launch, which then could have turned into me 
not wanting to do beer reviews, which then could have turned into me like just giving up totally on life and just being a miserable sack of shit, basically, um, and, and, and not being able to get out of my, my, my head and not being able to get out of my um, situation. So I feel like this has just given me a circuit breaker and um, I'm just going to keep taking these over a period of time now. This will probably be my last video probably for a while unless something massive happens whether it be good or bad um, and then obviously after I've taken them all I'll come back I'll, I'll talk about the whole experience as a whole um, and, and that'll be it so that's it for me guys uh, enjoy your evening and I'll see you on the next part of this hey everyone just thought I'd touch base with how I'm going with the diazepam um, some really cool things have started to happen recently. I'm not taking it all the time. I've still got five tablets left and it's been, what, two weeks or a week and a half or whatever. At the very back of my throat, up the top, like right at the back, there's always been like this little, it's not an ulcer, it's like a pimple that sometimes leaks and pops. And it gets aggravated by eating and um you know, just things hitting it, even like water or liquid or whatever. And that's like, like, it's still noticeable that it's, that it's there, but it's more like morphing back into what that part of my, the roof of my mouth should be. So I'm not too sure whether that's accumulation of taking the tablets, which is, sort of managing some stress and anxiety it's obviously improving my muscle stuff with my jaw which is then creating less stress with my face which obviously is connected to my mouth um so it'd be very interesting to see if like it's having a cumulative effect on some of my mouth health as well so that's excuse me and again um so it'd be interesting to see if if that is sort of all linked to taking these tablets and I haven't mismanaged it. Um, there's been some times over the last two weeks where I've had a couple of beers here and there, but I haven't taken the tablets whilst being on it, being on it. Um, and so, yeah, it's, it's been going well so far and yeah, I'll just keep checking in from time to time and sort of let you know my thoughts at the very end, but I thought I'd just share that mouth experience with you guys. Hey guys, just finished with my doctor's appointment. So I've obviously got one tablet left of diazepam. I went and saw him three weeks ago, my doctor, he's absolutely fantastic. We've built obviously a rapport over the last, you know, three, two, three years. Um, he was very loath to, like I've said in, a, in another part of this video, is that he was very loath to um, give medication but obviously there's a trust there and he also understands where I'm at. Um, and so I'm really glad that, I, that I crea I've created this video um, for anyone that may uh, take medication and feel bad that they're taking medication, uh, for people to maybe look back on if they get put on this particular medication um, and might have any fears or anxieties around particular side effects that may or may not come from it. Um, other than the first night I took it when I went to bed extremely late, that's the only time I've felt drow drowsy on it, but that was based on going to bed late on that first time. I've taken it on and off, have not consumed any alcohol during me having half a tablet. Um, anytime I have had a beer on this particular channel or just as in an enjoyment type of thing, I have not taken the medication. It has helped with um, breaking some clenching jaw stuff with uh, my sleeping, as well as seeing the rehabilitator in Baronia. Um, he's fantastic. I had a jaw um, TMJ massage and treatment on a um, couple of days ago. Now with things opening back up. That was fantastic, um, absolutely amazing, amazing, amazing practitioner. So he's also someone to go and see if you've got any dysfunctions or any issues to do with your body. Um, 
or injury, uh, rehab, exercises, uh, management, all that sort of stuff. But this, this tablet's been great experience. Obviously, it's not a forever thing. I did get another script, like I said, but it's not going to be an ongoing forever thing. I feel like it might it may have created a scenario that uh, was like a circuit breaker to some habits of internal body functions that's been going on, and that's exactly what it's been for me, which is fantastic. I've got some lots of personal uh, personal stuff going on at the moment, which I'm not going to share on here, um, which has created a lot more stress and anxiety that I've uh, and probably a bit of depression that I was uh, already dealing with, and then that on top of it hasn't been that you know been that great. But I'm slowly starting to come out of that. I'm slowly starting to work on myself. Been journaling pretty much um, every night or every second night, or when I feel like I need to write stuff down or get stuff off my chest or outside my mind. Um, I'm going to go back to doing some things that I like to enjoy, and so I'm going to go buy some guitar strings for my acoustic guitar. I'm going to start playing music again, which I'll, I might do some stuff on this review channel. Uh, with that, but uh, all in all, it's been it's been really really good. Um, he did give me my doctor did give me a referral to see an, an ear, nose, and throat specialist. That my last specialist that I saw with my jaw that basically said that I did have a dysfunction um, did give me a referral as well. But I'm just not in a position where like I go see a specialist and I'm out of pocket for like three four hundred dollars. I just don't have that ability to to do that, and so. Um, I can't really do it just at this point in time and so I just have to manage it the best way I can and the only way I can at the moment and that's really focusing on my mental health, really focusing on, um, you know, really working on myself. He, he did say that at some point maybe a psychologist could help but he also said that can be a slippery slope with being put on depression, uh, like antidepressant Presents and anti-anxiety medication that may or may not help. I might go down a path of taking a particular tablet and it may create more issues. Then I have to wean myself off that and go through another process of maybe finding another tablet that does work, going through that same process, and it could be a slippery slope. So he doesn't necessarily want me to go down that path. Um, he obviously thinks that seeking counsellor and professionals and that sort of stuff is very, very handy. Um, and I do agree with that. Obviously, I do help a lot of people uh, in my whole life. That's just who I've been. And that's probably where a lot of my anxiety and uh, stress comes from. And so I just got to manage that the best way I can. And um, obviously seeing uh, Andrew Pierce's uh, Infinite Flow and Infinite Calm program last year that I forked out a bit of money for, but it was totally worth it. A lot of the stuff that I learned in that I practice daily, um, which is fantastic. And I think that I just need some space around some internal body functions that's been going on for me um, of, of an evening from stuff that's just been like a consistent build up and so I feel like these tablets that I got put on have been that for me um, it'll be interesting to see how the second dose goes I won't be recording I might come into the comment section here and explain how that next course goes and I might also then continue to uh, comment in this comment section um, of any future uh, decisions around my TMJ my jaw dysfunction, my stress and anxiety, I might just come back into this as opposed to just continuously doing videos. So, like, I don't know, like, I don't really want to review it on a scale. Uh, I don't really want to give it a number or, or a drinkability or an eatability like I uh, have, like I do in my food reviews or, or beer reviews. But I just wanted to jump on and say this is the final video. I'm going to not edit it heavy. I'm just going to add the clips together and upload it for you guys and um yeah it, it'll it like i i just hope that it helps people i hope it creates some awareness that uh your mental health is 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 a normal thing to be talking about 
Being on medication is a normal thing to be talking about. You shouldn't feel ashamed or embarrassed for being on any particular medication with whatever's going on for you. You know, it might be pain medication, it might, it might be mental health medication, it could be anything really. Um, and I also wanted to share my experiences of me taking it in a safe way because uh, I know there are a lot of people out there that do mismanage uh, taking medication and um, that can be through a whole host of reasons um, that that their life is in a massive heap that they get some sort of benefit from a particular medication and they almost then chase that uh, and that's how an addiction can start with taking medication so I'm just going to leave it there and I will see you guys on another video uh, if you've got any questions or any sort of um, conversation starters on this particular topic I'd love to hear from you guys if you guys are on any particular medications experiences that you've had on on those particular medications good bad ugly indifferent whatever I'm happy to for this video to be that in the comment section so I'll catch you guys and have an amazing day afternoon night week so see ya